Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. In December 1939, as the year drew to a close, the Natchez Democrat carried the headline that it had been a prosperous one for Natchez. Indeed, the paper noted that the city had witnessed the greatest growth it had experienced in many years, with many events placing Natchez before the world as a growing progressive city, symbolic of the spirit which has awakened its citizenship. 1939 was the year that Armstrong Tire and Rubber Company, the South's first automobile tire factory, opened. Armstrong was a reflection of the largest industrial expansion under Mississippi's new plan of balancing agriculture with industry. The paper noted that the soon-to-be-completed Mississippi River Bridge was destined to make Natchez the east and west crossroads of the southern half of the United States. 1939 also saw the completion of paving Highway 61, which the Democrat called the Great Traffic Artery from Chicago to New Orleans. Highway 84 was also paved to Meadville that year. The city's new auditorium, with a seating capacity of 2,500, was completed and dedicated to the community spirit of Natchez. The spring pilgrimage brought records of visitors to the city, resulting in almost unlimited national publicity. The Democrat went on to announce the greatest growth of new businesses the city had experienced in two decades and the construction of several hundred new homes, including two new residential subdivisions. In an adjoining piece on the front page, the Natchez Democrat also announced that Hyde R. Jenkins would be sworn in as the new sheriff of Adams County on December 30th. Hi, I'm Stella Carby. Hyde R. Jenkins was my grandfather, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.